Hi there guys, and welcome to another Blowdown episode. So if you don't know me by now, my name is Yandre Blom, and uh, together with Evan, we started a channel called Blowdown. And yeah, we do all kind of crazy stuff from spearfishing, diving with great white sharks, and fishing, deep sea fishing, estuary fishing, rock and surf fishing, and everything in between. So um, yeah, in today's episode, we are going to be collecting a live bait, um, and then tomorrow morning, we are going to be trying off the kayaks we're gonna go for Garrick. i haven't done this in 10 years so um if you haven't seen any of our videos please do subscribe and if you have seen all of our videos or some of our videos please guys um leave a little comment leave a like and uh yeah i hope we can finally show you a fish because in the last couple of episodes i haven't been able to catch a fish and the water has been really really dirty but it is close to the december holidays and i have decided that this december I am going to be spending my time on the water every single day. So if you want to join that adventure, if you want to be on a blowdown adventure, leave your number. Uh, my number will be in the descriptions. Send me a WhatsApp. Um, yeah, we're going to be fishing and chartering and we're going to be doing vetsand, gaurits, deep sea fishing, spear fishing, free diving, estuary fishing, rock and surf fishing. So if you want to be part of the blowdown family, if you want to take part in one of the episodes, please, please, please let me know, guys. Um, yeah, there's actually a little bit of a surprise that we're going to share in the, probably the next episode that we go spearfishing. We'll show this, uh, share the surprise. I've been working very, very hard on some stuff um, over the last couple of months. And finally, everything came together. So hopefully, um, yeah, there's, there's some big stuff in the pipeline for free diving and spearfishing wise. But um, remember to, to send me a WhatsApp or leave a comment with your number and I'll get back to you. Um, yeah, so we're off to, to Harold's Bay. We're going to get some live bait now and uh, we're going to keep them alive i'll show you the pump that we use to keep them alive and then in this episode we'll show you how to rig for trawling on a kayak for live uh, live bait mullet uh, harders to catch garrick and it also works for cob we just have to put a little sinker on it but uh, we're going to be trolling for garricks with the kayaks in this episode so we're going to show you the rods and reels the hooks how we rig it up there's a specific way that i rig up and it's a specific hook that i use um because you're trolling, you're, you're, you're dragging the live bait behind. So there's a little bit of a trick that I use. And uh, 10 years back, we used to go out and catch five, six fish per day, garricks per day. And uh, we want to see if they're still there. Uh, I stopped doing that because it didn't get boring, but I, I kind of decided that, yes, I've conquered this fish now, the garricks, I've conquered them. So we decided, uh, then we went on to grunters, and then we went on to deep sea fishing, and then we went on to spear fishing, and then we went on to uh, cob fishing, and yeah, we've tuna fishing and there's so many fishing the stuff that we've done all in our episodes but we're going back to something that i haven't done for 10 years and uh, we're going garrick fishing with live bait so uh, tomorrow morning four o'clock i'm getting up and i'm getting everything ready to go kayak fishing i haven't done it in a while so i hope you guys enjoy the episode okay guys so um yeah we're here we're gonna jump for some live bait now and uh, again using the anchovy oil and then the other product from lock that i'm using is the lock um, fist meal okay so that's the two stuff that i'm going to be using i'm going to mix two bags of fist meal together with one half a liter of anchovy oil and just give the anchovy oil a good shake and then i'm going to mix that together and that's going to be my chump to get those lives that we're looking for okay so guys the first thing that i did when i got here is i quickly swam around to check um, where I could find some live so I've located a couple I'm gonna throw the the, uh, the lock now to see if I can uh, get them gather them up because there is a couple of really really big ones and there's a couple of really really small ones so um, we're gonna see now if we can find the, uh, I'll first want the smaller ones um, and then I'll try if that doesn't work I'll try and see if we can find some of the bigger ones um, so hopefully fingers crossed we can get some lives because otherwise it does become a struggle to get bait um, so you have to go and find bait the next morning then uh, you, know, you want to get there and you want to have your bait sorted out in the morning okay guys so phase one is completed so we used again the lock live bait bucket that we normally use and then uh, we switched them over to one with adults okay so there's our liveys for our um, mission and now i'm going to show you what i'm going to use now i first need to set it up quickly but i'm going to show you now how i keep these alive until tomorrow yeah. 
Okay, so guys, this is the secret how I keep my life bait alive. I've got this um, this little little life bait pump. So at the moment it's connected to my power bank because it's a little bit flat, but it's connected USB to my power bank. And it's got a dual outlet, but it's got a pulse motion and it's got everything. And when it's fully charged, it lasts up to 30 hours. And as you can see, there's more than enough. It's a double aerator. So there's more than enough air for those little liveys. And then uh, I'm going to close that lid on them. And then I'm going to see them tomorrow morning and they'll be as fresh as can be. That seals nice and tight so you can transport them in a bucky or somewhere on the boat. It's also got a pulse mode. They are a little bit expensive. Um, Extreme Fishing does stock them. So if you are looking for them. And then Extreme Fishing also stock all the lock, lock the chum that I use now. The fish meal and also the buckets and the anchovy oil, everything top, top, top quality. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to rig the, the, the rods and reels tonight and get everything ready for your kayak expedition on the morning. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, good morning guys and uh, welcome to our episode that we are going to be fishing for Garrick Leerfus. Okay, so the legal size for a Garrick is 70 centimeters, so that's quite a big fish. But um, in any case, we're not going to keep any fish today. Um, the spot that we're fishing is Island Lake and guys, I'm not going to hide my spot this time. Normally, I might say uh, or don't mention the spot. I am saying we're fishing at Island Lake, but I'm going to ask you, please, please, please guys, do put these fish back. If you want to come and fish here with live bait, um, please do put the fish back. Um, there's no fish coming in, there's no fish coming going out of this estuary. It's a close estuary. Um, it's not even a yeah, it's not even an estuary because it's not connected to the sea ocean. It is connected by little paths all the way to the Toad River, um, and that is sometimes open when there is floods. The, that estuary will, will open up but please guys they, you're legally allowed two per permit to take but please guys put these fish back um yeah it's it's more of a fish of fun to catch um don't do, don't take these fish out of island lake um or we all want to be able to catch these fish okay so on with the episode the the first secret i'm, I'm going to tell you today is you need uh sea liveys ocean liveys those those green liveys they just do the trick do not go and get those or you can go and get those um mother pens i call them mud mud mullets liveys um in the estuaries um they ju just don't last that long and you struggle to keep them um alive during the night so we managed to keep all of our liveys alive we do have three or four that's the correct size but the other ones are a little bit too small but in any case, we're going to try. I'm just going to use a little bit of a smaller hook. Then, um, yeah, that's the first secret. I'll show you the other secrets when we hook up. Um, and then I'm going to show you 
the rods and the reels that we use and the hooks that we use um, I can tell you this use a very thin hook um, especially if you've got smaller lives don't go with those big bulky circle hooks those thick stems you can use those when you're fishing in the deep sea when you're fishing uh, octopus leg for 50 60 kilogram cops you can use those big ones but if you're fishing for garrick and you've got a livey um, and uh, yeah I hook it through the top lip just to the top lip so the mouth is still open um, don't don't use those big 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 strong hooks make sure they've got a, a decent leader line on your hook and uh, yeah otherwise it is an absolutely stunning 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 morning I just had to drone in the air and it's an absolutely beautiful morning sun is just coming up now you need to yeah, be uh, early so it's around about half past six now and it's a beautiful morning so yeah we're gonna get the kayaks in and then uh, hopefully I can show you a, a nice garrick in this episode. We've got my father-in-law and my dad with me today. And um, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, my eyes lost. Uh, yeah, my eyes lost. My, my spawn is fast. We're going to the other side. I want to the other side of the island. Huh? Right for us, but on the other side of the island. Pass the span is forward. Pass the span is also forward. The point must the point must avoid. He must water escape. It looks like now, but man, it's so now, but not. Oh, the water is warm. Okay, so guys, this is the little pump that I showed you yesterday. As you can see, it's running on its own battery now. It's not connected to the power bank. Uh, okay, now we're going to start rigging up. There we go. Okay, now we're going to start rigging those. Um, I've put up. Okay, one thing. Okay, let's run to the gear first. On the one rod, I've got a 4.0 Mustad circle hook. As you can see, that hook is very um, thin. Okay, so we're going to use that one first. Then I'm using my Shimano 100Gs. And that's around about 10 kilogram line that I've got on. And the uh, Jarvis uh, Walker Gallimosis. Again, so that's the setup that we're going to be using. Um, Okay, now the next very important little tip that I can give you is when you're fishing with live bait, make sure you've got one of these with you. It's, this one is broken, so I need to get myself a new one. But this just makes your life so much easier when you have to catch that live bait. And I'll show you now, these ones are still very, very, very alive. Okay, there we go. I've got it. Oops, and it's out. <laughs> see they are still very alive guys okay, so I've got a little one yeah okay, so this is a little one I've got I'm using that 4-0 circle look and then I open up his mouth and I make sure that I hook him just through the top lip okay as you can see it's just hooked through the top lip okay and that livey will swim look at that thing go okay so this is a very small live bait that I've got here but if there is a garrick in the water, you will definitely pick that up, that vibration. Look at him go. Okay, so now my dad's just gonna row. Okay, so my dad's gonna help me out here today. He's gonna row all the way around. Um, and I've got certain spots where I do have. My biggest garrick that I've caught here is actually a 16 kilogram garrick. So you want the line to be around about 20 meters behind you. Um, and you can make the one like 20 meters and the other one maybe. 30 meters or so so that if they do cross they don't um, eat each other so you can do this with a boat as well but we've just found that the the um, the kayaks work a lot better because it's silent you can get into the spots where you want to go that boat in the water um, doesn't uh, help a lot very, very loose drag don't don't um, don't use a, a tight drag because you're using a circle look then next trick okay so trick number one was you need 
sea liveys, ocean liveys, the green ones, not those mud ones that you get in estuaries. Tip number two is hook it through the top lip because then it can still breathe. If you hook it through both lips, then it can't breathe. And because you're pulling it by the nose, uh, you're dragging it behind the boat, you can't hook it anywhere else than on the head. Okay, so I know there's, there's guys that's using the cable, uh, the cable ties and there's a lot of other methods at the moment that people are using, but I prefer this method. Um, it's just a lot simpler. You don't need to bring cable ties and Catalinas and um, all that stuff with. Okay, so that's tip number two, hook it through the top lip. Then, um, let me quickly rig the other one. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to be using a little bit bigger hook. This is a 6-0 hook because I'm going to put a little bit of a bigger livey out on, on the second line. Okay, so let me try and get one of those bigger liveys. They are very fast in, in this bucket, but I'm going to try my best to get a bigger one. Still can't find one. Uh, they're all running, they're swimming out. Here we go, here we go. This is the one that I want. Okay, so this is actually a very nice size. Okay, make sure you don't lose it, number one. Okay, this is the perfect size Lazy. Lazy that I want. Okay, 6 0 circle look. You can see. I open his mouth. <laughs> Doesn't want to open his mouth for me. Come, 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 come. There we go. There we go. Opens his mouth for me. And I hook it just through that top lip. Right. Okay, just through the top lip, like that. Oh, oh, look at that. That's why we use the ocean lives. Okay, so now you can see you're dragging it like this through the water. His mouth can open up, you can have normal airflow, you're not hurting the live. As soon as you get anywhere else, you're gonna hurt that live. Okay, so let's get this one in the water as well. Oh, look at him go. Okay. So, okay, now tip number three that I'm gonna give you is once you hook onto a fish, there's a first run and a second run with a Garrick. Okay, so the first run it actually scales and I'm gonna put in a video here of oh, that's the other reason we hook it by the head. I came across this, this video of a guy fishing in Naisna and he put a GoPro under the water to, um, to see if he can catch a Garrick, how he feeds on a livey and it actually attacks the livey from the head. So um, with a circle look, if the livey gets attacked from the head, <clears throat> that circle look in the mouth will work perfectly fine. So that's another reason why I hook it through the mouth. The method that I find consistently the most effective is to hook up through the top lip to allow a good flow of water over the gills. During spring tides and a strong tidal flow, you can be anchored and simply stream the mullet behind the boat. About 15 to 25 meters will do. Now it is simply a waiting game with the ratchet set very loose and watching for that telltale tipping of the rod to indicate that the mullet is trying to get away from some predator. That means he's trying to get away from something maybe. From the underwater footage, you can clearly see the mullet's reaction to the approach of the leary. Like any prey, the mullet tries its best to get away while the leary takes a good look from all sides before attacking from the front. Fish on! Now you have to make sure your break is set just right and gently bring the fish in, taking care not to get tangled in any other lines you might have out. The quicker you release them, the better, to give some other angler a chance to catch this feisty little fighter. You see him? Yeah. 
Yeah, I see him. Oh, yes. Tip number three. Um, on the first run, just let let, uh, let, it, let it go. Um, it's going to take off, the, the Garrett's going to take off, but actually what he's doing on his first run is just scaling the livey. He's taking all the scales off, and then it's, he, he will hold, keep it in his mouth, and he will scale all, take all the scales off, and then on the second run, he will spit it out, and then on the second run, he will come and take it. So on the first run, just leave the livey. Just on the loose track, I know it's the most difficult thing ever. It's going to be a run, run about 10 second run, um, and then on the second run, um, then he swallows the livey, so then you can then you can hook it up and you can tighten up. Because we're using circle hooks, just enough pressure on the line to, to set the hook, and uh, you should be fast. So let's see if all this stuff that I'm talking about uh, actually works today, and uh, if I can actually catch a livey today. Uh, uh, if I can actually catch a guy today. Come from here, I've seen you line some Yeah. Right the first one. Het lijkt het te vers aan. Ja, rijg er dan om te. Rijg er dan om te. Ja. Kijk, so it looks like my father-in-law has got one on. Yeah, we're gonna go over to him and see. Oh, no, he lost it. Oh. Ja. Ik heb gezien wat je aangaat. Ik heb gezien wat je aangaat, maar ik heb gezien die lijn is omgekoek. Ja, ik heb gezien om die lijn recht te krijgen. Ik denk dat ik hem kan zeggen. Hij zal niet vreet. Als hij lijn is, hij niet lekker drek en vat niet, zal hij niet lekker vreet niet. Ja, maar ik klap niet zo goed voor sterk. Ik kom eerst voor sterk klap en dus in de gabbijtijd. Ja, ik niet. Ik heb gezien dat ik kijk voor pa. Ik heb mijn pa gezien. Pas een lijn is gekoek om pas het stok. Ja, yes, ik heb het niet gezien. Ik heb het om die stok in te krijgen. Ik heb zeker te veel te draaien. Oh. Ik just had a very nice take on the livey. And then obviously it didn't come back. Ai. That's a beautiful run. Yo. But the boats have started to come out now, and that means uh, probably the end of our fishing. But yeah, just had a very, very, very nice run. And then uh, obviously didn't pick it up. So uh, we might just continue um, a little bit until we're out of the water. But yeah, there's two boats in the water, and normally when that starts happening, uh, the fish tend to not bite so much. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, look at it. He was chasing my livey now, and there it goes, there it goes. Oh, take it, take it. I just saw it. It was splashing around my live bait. Come on, take it. The Garrick was right there smashing my livey. There is one chasing, there is one chasing the livey. He's still there at the back, it's the same one that just took. So he's looking for that live. Obviously he scaled it on the first run and now he's looking for it. He came back to eat it. Oh, it came out of the water splashing and searching for that live. Let's see, maybe, maybe we can still catch one. It's just gonna hang around here for a second or so. See if he comes back for that live bait. Yo, that was spectacular. He came out of the water in search. He was chasing the other live. Oh, that was a nice run. What a sound. So I was going to hang around here for a minute or so. Maybe he wants to come back, but the wind has picked up as it was predicted. 
And yeah, there's the boats and everybody. It's making a lot of noise now. Okay, so let's reel in those two lights and see what what happened. Whoa! What happened to them? Ugh. Hey! Boat swells coming through now. Because there was a there was a run on the one and a chase on the other one. So let's see what happened to the liveys. Oh, one is gone. This one got taken off. So that was the problem with that one. And let's see what was the problem with the other one. If both of them are off, I might just do another pass through that area again. Yes, both liveys were taken off. Okay, so I'm going to do one more pass. I'm going to put out two new liveys and do one more pass through that area there. We might be able to luck, might be lucky enough to grab one. Okay, guys, and that brings to an end our Garrick uh, estuary fishing, or not really estuary fishing, lake fishing. <laughs> I don't know what you call. But that being said, end our episode. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Um, yeah, so we might go fishing tomorrow for cop. I've got a couple of lives left over. And uh, remember, if you want to fish with me over this December, um, leave your number or check in the comment section. And please go up, subscribe, and please leave a comment. It does really help with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, leave a like on the video. Um, yes, as I've said, I've caught many, many Gary, yeah. And uh, if you do come here, please, guys, put the garrick back. It's an awesome fight. Let somebody else also have that fight. It's not a very good eating fish. Um, let somebody else also enjoy the fight on, on a kayak or on a canoe. Um, they don't really like the power boats, yeah? But I um, hope to see you guys soon. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we did manage to get, I did manage to get that one run. And then my father-in-law also got, he was actually hooked on to a fish. But unfortunately, that fish came off. Um, right next to the boat and then the one chased my livey had the run and he turned to my other livey and he chased that one and that one got off too so um, yeah that's one of those days um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode